Hey, what's up guys? So this is um, a video I just decided to do right now and so it, there's gonna be no editing in this video and so basically um, this video is going to be on um, how what I've experienced in college um, and if you guys have been subscribed to me you know that I recently uploaded a video on a, a few approaches I did on my campus and so like first off I do want to address why I don't freaking record it with a video camera um, and why I don't have more than like those few recordings and it's simply because like first off it'd be really weird recording with a video like the girls would react differently they're like oh I'm on I'm on camera right now and on top of that like the purpose of this is not to show off or show off like what I'm doing if I were if that was my purpose then this all these videos would be completely different and it'd be completely different if you're looking for that there's already plenty of videos on YouTube with millions of views where the dudes are going up picking up girls and getting like a hundred numbers in a single video and I've talked about this before just because you get a hundred numbers even those guys um, a ton of them um, at least for me I would say like for me I, like I'm pretty bad uh, the very few numbers I do get uh, like 90 to 80 uh, percent end up not responding after my first text or not responding after the first two one or two texts and that's not always the case I mean I'm sure the percentage is higher um, if you're a boss and you just have like confidence overflowing and your initial interaction is good and that's probably why my um, things are having such high flake numbers but I guarantee you even them their flake numbers their flake percentages are still very very high so a lot of people go on there and they see those videos with the uh, those pickup videos with millions of views and they're like oh this guy's a boss well that's not the truth so my my whole point is that this for me the whole this whole thing is simply to um, get out of the scarcity that I've been in for uh, ever pr pretty much a lot of my life from the start of college and even further high school uh, just this whole scarcity of girls thing and so that's my intentions and I'm pretty much uploading these things not to really show off uh, but simply to try and get better um, and if I were to show off then I would be going out like every day and I would have tons of recordings because I've done lots and lots of approaches already hundreds on girls and a lot of, most of them have freaking failed and I feel like again it does have to do with like the initial interaction um, body language tone of voice stuttering and just what I'm saying and just being boring all those things have to do with it as well as possibly looks um, but yeah I've been failing quite a lot and the reason like the reason why I'm not going out and like recording all this like today I've done I did quite a few approaches like well I would say like five or six and they all went fairly badly and the thing is like I didn't bring any recording equipment like I could have brought um, my audio recorder and recorded all those approaches if I wanted to show off um, and I have gotten numbers which I have not recorded um, but that's that was never my intentions it was it was never to be famous or anything uh, or show off and get millions of views um, it's it's simply because I'm looking for um, uh, attractive girls to bring into my life uh, which I, I'm still sort of looking for and so um, this video was inspired today by what happened today I was just so fed up with it and so the next time I get a chance I'm going to do audio recordings and I'm just going to do a lot of them 
and just upload them all because I've recorded one like three recordings all in one video before and they were pretty crap and just like off the wall and I really just want to like I just got so fed up with just you know very rarely approaching and when I do um, because of my standards it would never work out so um, I'll explain this all again in the video but uh, pretty soon and look out for it uh, if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button it'll be out soon it's gonna be a video on me just doing approaches on a lot of girls and I'm going to finally like for many years now I've been unwilling to lower my standards and even approach girls um, I mean I will approach them but there would be no way I would compliment them if I didn't deem them attractive but like I today I just got so fed up um, with these girls because like um, I would, once again I would approach them and I would compliment them and they give me the bitch reaction and then just say thanks oh I gotta go and walk off very clearly with her with her facial expression and body language uh, for like the, the the 50th time it's gone badly so um, yeah I, I actually did a few today but I didn't record them uh, I just pretty much went up to girls and said like uh, oh you look really nice um, and could I get your number and it didn't work I I got so fed up I went up to girls that weren't attractive at all and I just tried it and it didn't work and then I did it again and it didn't work and I may I might get a lot of hate for this but um, I honestly don't care anymore um, I, I I think it it's something that um, would be helpful um, if people would give me advice on it and um, if you're gonna leave like a, a comment that's not helpful don't even bother but um, we'll see how it goes and um, yeah the biggest message though is don't base your happiness or anything related to happiness based on like your success with girls because uh, you will get very depressed very quickly uh, or very frustrated um, that's just how it is and yeah even like even if you're like really good looking I feel like that's a very very dangerous thing to base your happiness and su success on your success with girls and like me like if you had gone through what I'd gone through today with my I would say like six or seven approaches where uh, half the time I approached indirectly uh, half the time the girls were good looking half the time the girls were not good looking at all and um, basically you know direct usually means like approaching with a compliment and pretty much giving my reason for my approach and indirect would usually be just like some random thing like something ran random like the weather or something uh, that I begin the conversation with and yeah it, it's if you had gone through today and experienced what I did and you were very very much dependent on the girl's reaction for your happiness like you would have been screwed over today like for sure like after like your seventh rejection and you'd probably be, be miserable so don't base your like success or uh, happiness on girls and like you, you gotta have better stuff in your life like girls should not be the most important thing in your life uh, there's so much more much more important stuff that a lot of people would respect you a lot more for than how many girls you can get or how hot the girl is you can get um, and that's just the truth of the matter like a lot of people respect Bill Gates or anyone who has won a Nobel Prize or done some technological advancement Steve Jobs uh, someone like that uh, as opposed to some some dude who gets with hot girls and that's just how it is so um, I don't know what to say uh, that's that's about it for this video and uh, when I have time I don't even know when I have time with schoolwork and stuff but if I do 
um, I'll be posting like my goal after today and what happened it's inspired me as soon as I get the chance I'm going to be recording right now I just record on this this like I touch uh, the audio and yeah it's uh, like I have a, a video camera here uh, but yeah you can't really video record this as well I mean it's kind of creepy the girls will react differently and quite honestly I'm not doing this to show off like I've been I've had uh, people watching this video uh, say oh yeah your audio recordings were nice I heard the audio but I want to see video and I'm like do you really want to see video because like you're trying to help me along or uh, do you just want to see it just for the entertainment and I'm not here to show off okay I'm, I'm not here to show off by any means and I didn't get into this to show off or like act like I'm the, the big guy on campus who's who's so s smooth with girls uh, I got into this uh, to get rid of my scarcity with girls that's it and um, so uh, th those videos will be coming soon it's going to be like an audio video so there's gonna be a still on the screen and then uh, the one difference is uh, there will be lots of audio recordings and the second difference is I won't just be approaching really good-looking girls anymore and so expect it to be out soon um, I'm hoping to do at least 10 to 20 approaches and the only reason is I mean one I do get rejected quite a lot so uh, of those 10 or 20 maybe I'll only get one or two who are actually good or nice but it may be different because now I'll be approaching girls who who um, aren't that attractive anymore so it might be completely different and I guess it's it will help you guys get a sense of what it really what what it really is like because a lot of dudes out there are like they've thought about it they've theorized about it but they've never gone out and actually done it and found out the cold hard truth and that's kind of what I've done and yeah basically the rejection percentage is really really high and um, it's quite scary to think about but I feel like if I like if I gotten an acceptance with a girl that was perfect in my opinion um, then it's, it's scary to think about but I would have probably settled down uh, with the first girl that said yes and that's a scary thought because now I've with all these rejections and never really f getting like an actual acceptance um, or like like an actual girl willing to give a phone number um, then it's it's sort of like um, I've, I've I've developed the whole idea that you can't just go with the first girl that says yes because um, like I really want I have standards now and uh, I realize how dangerous that is and how unhappy you can become just settling with who you think is your perfect girl that's why there's like a 50% divorce rate in this country so that's all I have to say uh, stay tuned for this video um, uh, my goal is 10 to 20 but if I'm really really good I doubt it though uh, maybe 20 or 30 approaches and it will all just be in this one big bundle and yeah there's a lot of like limiting beliefs that I don't want to that I really have to sort of get over to do this like I've never actually done that many approaches for shotgun um, because of a lot of things like I'm scared the, I'll see them again blah 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 and uh, the last final thing to address would probably be um, well isn't that sort of mean to do and it's not mean to do like I'm not being a mean person doing that um, one someone could reason oh you're being a player you're just farming phone numbers and farming like approaches and stuff like that and quite frankly like the only reason I'm doing this is because I get rejected so often if I were like if I could like get at least a couple acceptances then I, I really wouldn't have to do this but like quite honestly that's how high my rejection rate is 
as of right now um, just based on a lot of things um, looks I'm sure is one of them but I feel like there's other stuff too body language tonality how boring I come across uh, the fact that it's the daytime and not like a bar scene so uh, like going up and doing this is a lot different because you can you can come across a lot sleazier in a bar and it's really okay but I, I really hate the bar scene and the night scene and I'll go and I'll enjoy it if I go with friends but not alone and so uh, I never really go to bars or parties or anything and uh, that's all I really have to say so uh, stay tuned uh, subscribe and leave a comment if you actually watched all 16 minutes of this video uh, that'd be really cool um, and I'll see you guys there thanks for watching peace